Wade Laszlo, and this is another edition of Corrections, News, and Views. First of all, I would like to thank all of you for supporting the Anyone But Hoffa Slate and the Teamsters Local 320 delegate elections. We defeated the Sue Morin Slate, and uh, we take that as a mandate. We know what the members want. The members want change. We're going to go to the Teamsters Convention. We're going to continue that change. There's a couple other candidates running against Jim Hoffa. There's Fred Jaguer, whom I support and Sandy Pope, who some other members of our slate support. Both very good people, very good Teamsters, and we believe that the message from the members was clear. They want anyone but Hoffa. Thank you for voting. Thank you for your contributions. Thank you for working phone banks. Thank you for spreading the word. Thank you. We will not let you down. The next item that many of you are uh, worried about or concerned about is the overtime back pay that's been been being kicked around since last July that's uh, miscalculated overtime on the part of the uh, Hennepin County and according to uh, payroll after much pressure from us and the Department of Labor most likely they're not guaranteeing hundred percent most likely that will be on our March 18th check the overtime back pay they're going to notify me right before that and I'll try to get it out to you but uh, you can look for your uh, you can look for your stuff, your back pay then. Um, I'd be remiss if I didn't discuss some of the anti-public employee legislation that's going through. Um, we stand in solidarity with the public workers in Wisconsin. And uh, they are at the forefront of the battle. But we here in Minnesota are not immune to the anti-public employee bullshit. There's a couple of uh, bills that have been introduced in uh, our legislature. There is a, a right to work bill, and the source for this is Workday Minnesota. State Representative Steve Draskowski introduced HF 65 to establish freedom of employment. The bill, if passed, would put this proposed amendment to the state constitution on the ballot of the 2012 elections. This is a right to work measure. What that means is we would no longer have closed union shops you would have non-union scab employees mooching off of our contracts, off of our benefits, and weakening the union. The next bill that's of great concern to a lot of us is uh, HF 594. What this bill does is it would eliminate PARA, the Public Employees Retirement, after July 1st of uh, 2011 if this bill were to be passed. Now, a lot of us remember how hard we worked to get the 55 retirement for the corrections officers. We have the shortest life expectancy, the highest injury rates, and we have clowns that are trying to take away this retirement from us. And uh, what, what the basis of the bill is, is that uh, for uh, employment on and after July 1st, 2011, no public employee E or elected official earn service credit in any Minnesota defined benefit public pension plan and no employee or official may contribute to a Minnesota defined benefit or defined contribution public pension plan. Um, it goes on to say that if you're already vested the employer will continue to contribute at the same rates but that means when the economy picks up there will be no increases in your pension and for those behind us I have no idea what happens to their retirement. So it's, uh, these are some bills that we're watching, and it's very, very, very important to have people on board that are pro-public employee. And we got to say that I don't think that Jim Hoffa has been a very good public employee. Ten days, it took ten days into the Wisconsin protests for Jim Hoffa to make a cameo appearance out there. And we think that's a bunch of bullshit. Another thing that's bullshit is he only has one person to uh, on his team to represent 240,000 public employees. Next, I'd like to read some letters. Um, the first letter is from Fred Greger, and this was uh, sent to us the day after the Anyone But Hoffa Slate devo devo defeated the Sue Morin Slate in the uh, Teamsters Local 320 delegate elections. Um, it says, Congratulations to the Anyone But Hoffa Slate at Teamsters Local 320. On behalf of myself and the entire Fred Gregor fighting for the member slate, 
congratulations on a monumental victory over one of James Philip Hoffa's hand-picked and highly paid candidates. What began as a David and Goliath slugfest ended in a good old-fashioned ass-kicking. We look forward to similar results in the IBT election. And you can read the rest of this letter from Fred Jaguar on our website at uh, detentionhome.blogspot.com. Another letter we got is from uh, Vance Rolfson. He's the uh, corrections officer at the uh, Ramsey County Workhouse. And uh, he says, Wade, congratulations to your slate for your victory and being sent to represent our local at the convention. I want to particularly congratulate Mike Golan, who did a very nice job campaigning. Mike has been with this local for a very long time and knows how to get things done. He's, he used to represent us at the, as our business agent and the members at the Ramsey County Workhouse remember him as a good man. And Mike is a good man. He was also our first business agent. And he's the guy who uh, was our business agent when we got the paid holidays in our first Teamsters contract in Hennepin County. And no letter reading would be complete without our detractors. And this one comes from my, shall we say, nemesis, the Ripmeister One. Surprise, surprise, Laszlo. We'll be going to Las Vegas this summer. Hope the sun doesn't break, bake that brain of yours. You'll probably wear that headband anyway. Have fun at the Mustang Ranch because you won't get anything done at the convention. Your candidate will lose in the election anyways. Well, de Ripmeister, spending time at the Mustang Ranch is probably where all of Hoffa's people will be, but the anyone but Hoffa people will be busy doing the members business at the convention, trying to get in a leader that will take care of the members. I'll tell you what, we're sick of our Garrity rights being violated with no response, no outcry from the union. We are sick of the lack of backing that we got. We had a vote of no confidence in our boss and the promised picket never materialized. We're sick of it. We will put up with it no more. We are sick and tired of being ignored. We are not a bank, a cash cow for the union leadership. They work for us. Their job is to represent the members, and the current leadership is not, and we're here to get rid of them. The next one who better look out is James Philip Hoffa, because we're going to the convention on behalf of the members of Local 320. We're representing our members who voted for us, and they don't want you. Once again, my name is Wade Laszlo, and this is another edition of Corrections News and Views. Thank you.